WMBF starts with breaking news. Thanks for being here at 11. I'm Rachel Bogle. Good evening to you. I'm Eric Weisfeld. We're continuing to follow breaking news tonight right here in Horry County where we're learning more about the chilling alleged circumstances leading up to a deadly roadside shooting. Our Ashley Listrom joins us in the control room sharing what the victim's loved ones have just revealed and where that case now stands. Ashley. Rachel, Eric family tells me Caitlin Bennett had been fearing for her life leading up to her death claiming at least one person had been stalking and taking pictures of her. Some of her relatives tell me law enforcement didn't take those concerns seriously and a proper investigation could have saved the 33 year old's life. Nobody would lend a hand for somebody who that who would help everybody could have been probably avoided had they listened to her. Frustration is mounting within Bennett's family just days after her violent and still unsolved death. The haunting part is that Caitlin asked for help. Horry County Police say they found her fatally shot in her car Wednesday night at the intersection of Highway 905 and Gore Road. Her aunt, Christina Miller, lives states away, but claims her niece was kind-hearted and didn't deserve her grisly fate. There was no reason for somebody to take her life. Bennett is now the second person in her immediate family to die from gun violence. As records show, a now convicted and sentenced gunman killed her father in 2016. Her loved ones still can't fathom those odds, remaining in disbelief years after the first deadly shooting and days after the second. And to top it off, father and daughter at that. As relatives work through their heartbreak, they say they will always remember Bennett as a light in their life. <laughs> they tell me they'll fight for justice for as long as they can, not just for her, but for her child. Her son, he wanted to see mommy today. I mean, how do you, how do you tell a child, sorry, <laughs> you can't. We are working to confirm how many times Bennett asked for law enforcement's help. In the meantime, her family is asking for privacy as they plan her funeral arrangements. Reporting in the control room, Ashley Listrom, WMBF News.